you so. The final session is kind of fun, but quick. Because we're going to usually pass a hole or don't pass a hole. So today we did an earlier session. There's a quick win on that one. This one here, I guess, pretty much says stick with the pass and hold. So, uh oh, I didn't uh, shoot with the screenshot here, so I can say it now. You guys can see it on the screen. What I'm looking for, first off, the strategy. Press and hold, it's up. That's good. Even the don't pass, I guess it's up in there, but the pass line is ahead, so we'll stick to that. Why do I only have 49 rolls in here? Well, whatever. Then, uh, let's see, we had 10 wins, 6 losses. Still shows better be on the pass line. Frontline winners. Let's see. Come out wins four versus come out losses one. So we're going to start our session. Three dollars on the pass line, and we are off and running. We're on a niner. Four, five, nine. Again, what we're trying to do is hit two decisions and then we double up to the back. If I get to a point where I like the. Um, put a bet out there. I can't double up yet. That was the first one. This is our second. Again, I'm going to put a chip up here. This will mean that it's the second. The second, uh, the second decision in the hand. So that's our second. That way I know oh, well, I'm doubling it up. There's an eight. Two, six, and eight. And out again. Oops. Yeah. I'm going to go over here this time, put it back, double it up, 156, no. yeah. 2-6-8, eights have not, not been good, ace deuce, a couple in a row. We're going to put this over here now. It's our second stage at six dollars. Neither come on in. So there's one. That's the second decision. So we're going to go back over there. We're going to double that bet. And we got that one too. So that's good there. We'll leave the bet intact and we're going to come over here now. Let's put that over there. Dice aren't bouncing much, are they? Second, so we double it. That goes over there. Five, six, yo. Okay. Uh, we got uh, that's the first decision. We're going to go to second decision. Here, from here, we basically stay right there. One six. All right, real quickly, gotta look at something because we started at three sixty. We're at four two. We're looking for eighteen dollars. Okay. $18 win here. So I'm not going to put the whole the full $24 in there. I'll drop that down. We'll just do $6. Okay. So we're going to go back and start this over on this side here. Two, four, six. Or 10. We're starting to get different numbers now, which is okay with me. Maybe we can jump into it. 10 back to back. There we go. Come on. Two, four, six. Had I left it at 24, we'd be ahead completely now and be done. Where are we at? We're at 408. We're trying to get, we still need 12 more dollars here. So that was our first decision. So we're going to repeat the bet and double it. 
Oh, no, can't do that. We have to repeat the bet. We can't double it. It's our second decision. Four hard. Four hard. No odds. Let's see if we can get one more I'm just kind of curious. Card four came right back. Look at that. That's sweet. And we're six. We need six more dollars, so we'll stay out here still. Well, technically we need to go up and double it, but I'm not going to. I'll just leave it there. The second decision. The one three. The ones. Usually I'd throw some numbers out there now, but I've got three fours in a row, so I'm going to wait. Ace deuce. That was our goal. We hit it. We're on it exactly. And again, we're done. And that's what, five minutes? Let's call it ten minutes. So it's a really quick and simple strategy. Kind of nicknamed it the no stress strategy because you're only really making one bet. Occasionally, you might throw a couple of box numbers out there. That is all there is to it. It is quick. It's simple. Eventually, we're going to move up to the five or the ten dollar level. But remember, you've got to be able to put eight times that amount if you're going to a losing stretch, right? Because every other decision you're, you're bouncing up so eventually you're going to be hitting you may be hitting eight times that bet. in the case of five dollars it's only a forty dollar bet so that's not that big a deal but when we'll start hitting the ten dollar mark that's a different story anyway thanks for watching if you haven't done so already be sure to subscribe i'm out of this joint because i made my money i'm done for the day enjoy